My name is Fonky. I'm a Cambodian. I was born in France, grew up my whole life in Montreal, and now I'm based in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. And I like to paint on different surfaces. Two years ago, I decided to be based here. I guess it just came naturally. I've been coming here since I'm four years old in my family. I think it's since 2012, I came for the first time to do art projects. And it just became more and more interesting for me. I just got caught up in the wave of that Khmer Renaissance that Cambodia is in right now. So the, the style that I'm doing right now is uh, the style I started doing in 2012 when I first came back for an uh, artistic project. And it's, uh, it's a mixture of uh, the Kabat style, the Kabat, which is the, the ornaments of Angkor Wat that you find in the pagodas, a bit everywhere. It's really part of the Cambodian aesthetic from like thousands of years ago. So I kind of mix that flow into my graffiti. You know, graffiti exploded all around the world and there's an aesthetic for Europe, for South America that they are really inspired by their ancient culture. So since there were no typical yet uh, aesthetic of Cambodia in terms of street art, I needed to create something that really reflects the, the culture because I think graffiti is like the mirror of the society, city, region where it's been developed. So I think it was just normal for me to, to dig into uh, my roots, aesthetic roots. <laughs> So this exhibition, which is entitled uh, Khmer Renaissance, is all about the era we live in right now, that period of time in Cambodia. Uh, knowing that we had the golden era back in the 60s and then April 75, we had our genocide, which was year zero, knowing that almost a third of the population was killed. And from that third, 90% were mostly intellectual and artists. And now we've been able to heal and we're witnessing a, a renaissance, not only in the art, but um, in the music, in the film industry. The city is really developing its own way. So there's room now for contemporary art and for us, new generation, to get back our history and being able to recreate our narrative. So yeah, for example, I love this one uh, because actually that's the first one I created for this show. Uh, this is a piece from the National Museum uh, from Yaksa Ye, who is the ogre, the Khmer ogre. He's uh, also the spirit of the forest, of the water. He can be malicious or nice too. Cambodia is the country where there's the most cut of wood and forest in the whole world in terms of the density of the forest. So we've been cutting a lot of wood here. We have a message from Yaksa actually saying, stop killing my forest. We need more of some of uh, Yaksa, you know? <laughs> so this one and the smaller ones too, the abstract. Yeah, we're printing Tetris. It's pretty handy here. I did tuk tuks there, the men, because you can can do uh, everything you need. Oh, in Canada, it would be a pain. You would have to like go rent a truck, pay the truck. But here, you just did the, the, the tuk tuk uh, the best. <laughs> with our team, we created this exhibition also with uh, Ranan Paul, a Cambodian born and raised artist. All his work is about the everyday life of Cambodia. So this one, for example, is uh, the first collaboration we did uh, on a canvas. He's actually like uh, our neighbor down our street at our home studio. And he doesn't see anymore. He's blind, he's there. So the name of this painting is Witch Renaissance which is questioning also our title Khmer Renaissance about this whole change of what the country, especially Phnom Penh, is going through. But someone like him from like really poor social class, he won't see that Renaissance. But also I wanted to cut that pity of it, like he's our neighbor and down it's like a little village. So I have my tuk-tuk friends, everybody helps him out and we sort of live in a community. 
and it's to find sort of the divinity in, in everyone because I feel like life is like divine. Uh, there's something secret about painting. <laughs> So the Rosewood Phnom Penh team invited me to do a show here because they wanted a, a street art show. But I'm like, no, it won't be a street art show because as soon as it's in a gallery, it's not street art anymore. Street art belongs to the street. But the idea was to bring that energy from the street into canvases and depict these stories that I told you about. Um, but also the goal when we did the opening the vernissage was since we're on the highest point, five-star hotel, it's just let's merge all these social classes together to create a platform or playground where everybody can be included and to try to also break that narrative of everybody think, oh, if it's in a high-end place, I'm, I don't belong here to go. My biggest reward is when my uh, tuk-tuk driver, my tuk-tuk friend who lives down the street, which I see every day, he's like, oh, uh, oh, you, you painted our, our homeless friend. I'm like, oh yeah, when, when did you go? I'm like, oh, I went with my wife and check it out. So that, that's when I was, oh, at least for him, we, we cut that barrier where they say, oh no, this is not for us, it's for the Khmer elite or the elite. And he went by himself. And that's the little win. Yeah.